So, uh, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima is definitely a game that seems like it was going to be in the same vein as Sekiro. I'm curious how much of this is going to be that, right? I'm curious how much of this game is actually going to be Sekiro-like. Is that a bad thing if it's Sekiro-like? It's not. It looks like it might be an even prettier Sekiro. What it really comes down to is going to be swordplay. Sekiro did have good swordplay. It was the same thing for a lot of the game, which was what sort of rubbed me a little dry on it. Swordplay, visuals, and level design. Like, the level design makes Sekiro incredible. Well, if if Sekiro didn't have its incredible level design, and it's so, so much fun to traverse the areas and mountains and forests of that game, then, my god, man. I would not have probably carried on playing it as much as I did because the combat didn't, while well, I thought was great half the game, it didn't carry me the other half. I'm curious what Ghost of Tsushima is gonna do that's different than that. And yeah, Sekiro lacks replay value. Everyone that's even like a hardcore Sekiro fan, that's like a big Souls fan, they do say that Sekiro lacks replay value because there's no different types of ways to play Sekiro. It is a Tenchu game, you know? It is the best Tenchu game of all time, is what it is. But it is a, definitely a Tenchu game. All right, here we go. This game is like, cherry feathers and cherry feathers, cherry blossoms the game. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. 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 So it's actually sushi, because the T is silent. I get it. Not Tsushima. Oh, wow. They have like an, it's like a super demonstration. Yeah, that's beautiful. He's got a scarf. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world. Look at this next gen game on current gen. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? And I give him a red scarf. Damn, it already feels like Neo. Using guiding wind to navigate the island? Yeah, this is this is very zen. Extremely zen. I'm already sold. I'm already sold. Weird how I'm already sold on this game. Then that that sort of big scripted like like gameplay thing they had before. I'm already sold on this. Just showing you traversing, right? Just showing you what do you do in the world. I'm already sold. Is this going to be like Japanese Red Dead 2? Which might be, for some reason, I think way more interesting. Bust a move. Did he say bust a move? <laughs> yeah, I'm really debating playing this either in English or Japanese. It is, an, it is a game made, right, in English technically, but it's like the most Japanese, like authentic sort of Japanese thing ever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it in haiku only. There's a haiku mode that I just came up with. When was the last gameplay demonstration of this game? Like two years ago? E3 2018 was when they last showed gameplay of this game. Holy hell, dude, that's a long time. And it still looked good, right? No joke, it looked good. It was just like, that looks really interesting, but it's been so long since then. That's right, the flute demo. When we were hoping it was gonna be Final Fantasy VII. Tsushima is rich with exploration cool. and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just a fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Damn, I didn't think it was going to have as much world traversal as this. And let the wind guide you. No shit, it's it's almost like it's almost like Breath of the Wild in many ways. Yeah, this is already selling me on it. This is already Look at this next gen ass game on current gen. It's already selling me. This is fucking Breath of the Wild. Holy hell. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, even the visuals on, in comparison to Breath of the Wild, are very similar. Like, the blades of the grass, like, the, 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 how they, how they fill the world with a lot of, like, graphical enhancements to make the world not just look sort of barren. If you've ever it's seen like, a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to It feels like a super realistic, fight me. very, even more pretty version of, like, Breath of the Wild. Oh, you can choose to fight them, and you just don't fight them immediately. Interesting. Okay, you're attacking the goblin camp. Okay, that was dope. Okay. <laughs> I 
parry enemies at the last possible moment to open them up. I'm down. You better... You, uh, dude, I think you better believe that Sekiro might have had an impact on this game's combat in some way. Definitely stances, yeah. He did, like, Neo-level stances, it looked like. It looked like there was definitely a high stance in there. So that's, like, direct combat, right? Now they're gonna go over stealth stuff. But now let's see him take on the same group of Mongols as the Dishonorable Ghost. Oh, this is sick. As the ghost, he'll use every dirty trick he can think up to even the odds. You literally have, like, even ninja version or samurai version. And you can approach... You can approach camps differently. Okay, this is sick. Now we're, now we're going, like, Sekiro slash Tenchu time. Yeah, it's just the same camp, but he came here at night. Right. Oh, so you could change, you could chain assassinations together if they're close to each other. It like, if you, you could catch them off guard for like a certain moment and then immediately kill them. That's dope. Multi takedowns. I wonder how many you could chain together. That's dope. Did you just shoot him in the dick with the shuriken? Okay, the element of stealth is now lost. The Japanese Assassin's Creed you always wanted? Well, I have never really played much Assassin's Creed. So you can't really get me excited about that, but this looks cool. This multi-approach of like... Like combat genuinely changes between samurai mode and ninja mode. And he has a different costume, like he had, he has, he had big heavy gear when he was... ...playing samurai mode. I mean, I'm sorry. Approaching it differently. Ow. What? Really? I already saw that he had two different costumes, but how much customization are we talking? You might have noticed that while fighting as the samurai, or sneaking around as the ghost, Jin had on a different set of armor. That's because the armor in this game actually gives you different mechanical advantages. It's not just the way it looks. It helps accent your chosen play style. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Just exploring the world and looking for stuff to make you look cooler, if not have a small advantage. To me, like, one of the best things they did in Spider-Man was give you optional things to unlock armor to look cool. I loved that about it. wanted to create a way for you to feel like you're playing Look at all- look at all the film effects. So we created a windy, black and white, film grained out mode that you can turn on from the very beginning of the game. Kurosawa mode. Everyone said the same shit. Kurosawa mode. <laughs> Did it say that on there? I might have missed it. But they should just call it Kurosawa mode. <laughs> oh my god. This is so cool. Ghost of Tsushima comes out on July 17th. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you later. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of blown away. I feel like they should have just saved this for next gen. You know? It looks, it looks incredible. I'm blown away. I, I went from being like, uh, yeah, that, that Ghost of Tsushima game looks okay. I'll, I'll check it out when it comes out. I went from that to after watching this, absolutely sold, and now I'm like, oh, I can't wait for July. Cannot wait for July. This is gonna be like, this is my game of July, absolutely. Combat seems off. They, well, they, they showed some parts of combat, right? They showed a lot more of it a, a couple years ago. But they show the how you can approach combat multiple multiple different ways between like ninja and samurai modes. Let's hope that combat can get a little crazy. I don't want like, you know, an a la Assassin's Creed sort of just like enemies all over the place and you sort of, you know, Batman, Arkham Asylum, all of them. I don't think that's the best way to go. But the fact that he had multiple stances, the fact that you could do things that were very much like Neo. And if you want to copy a game's combat, don't copy Sekiro, copy Neo. Neo has fantastic combat. It has almost too much combat in it. There's too many different things you can do that it, it sort of bogs the game down in many ways. I'm ridiculously impressed. If it, if it can allow me to do sick, cool looking shit like that, and it's not just like, hold down R1 to parry all the enemies. It'll auto do all this stuff. No, if it's, if it's like, if it actually feels really good gameplay wise, then I'm super down. I'm super down. And here's the thing, games like Sekiro came out in between them working on this game. Games like 
Neo uh, have sort of been around in between them sort of even announcing this game and Neo 2 came out, right? So what I'm thinking is happening is that those games and their existence and what they did well probably had an influence on Ghost of Tsushima and why they held off on showing gameplay for so long, right? I personally feel that that Neo does have better combat than Sekiro, but what Sekiro has, which can even make up for the fact that some of the combat is very repetitive, dude, Sekiro has the greatest level design. Like the level design's incredible, but this isn't, this doesn't seem to be going for that kind of level design. Like this really feels like Japanese mythology, or not even Japanese mythology, just sp specifically Japanese history, Breath of the Wild, or maybe even God of War. The, the 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 vastness of the world definitely felt like a big, big Breath of the Wild influence, but maybe the way they approach the world is gonna be more God of War-y. Maybe a mix between the two. Kurosawa of the Wild? That's a fantastic name. Yeah, I went from being like, I don't know about this game, it's okay. It looks it looks really good, it looks really good, but like there just wasn't enough, there was no UI. It, it, it seemed everything that they showed in the 2018 video was very scripted. It was like, this is, this is gonna be a game I'll play. But actually going in and just setting Jin in his world and letting him explore and then discover stuff and then approach situations like actual gameplay, right? This is the way our game works. To me, it's way more impressive than a scripted sequence. It's way more impressive than a big CG trailer. This is way more impressive because you actually see what the game looks like. And most of the time, what you're doing in the game as the player is way much, way more fun and way much more enjoyable to watch than just seeing some person do it in engine or in CG. Breath of Tsushima? No, I like Kurosawa of the Wild. I really like that. Simmons is going to eat this shit up. Yeah, I'm going to... That, that's exactly it. Yeah, I'm going to get... I'm definitely going to get lost in that game.